Kevin Johnson, what is wrong with you? For y'all who don't know, Kevin Johnson is the union-busting CEO of Starbucks. Starbucks is supposed to be this liberal-slash-progressive company. At least that's the reputation that they benefit from, isn't it? Isn't it? Everybody's always complaining about their Christmas cups and all this other stuff. They're viewed largely as a, as a lefty type of company. So why is Kevin Johnson so afraid of the unionization effort by the baristas? What's he? You lefty, right? Aren't you supposed to be pro-union, you know, pro-workers and their partners, right? That's what you call them, their partners at Starbucks? Kevin, you better remember, the your customer base, mostly a bunch of lefty, progressive thinking, center, moderate, supporting workers type people. He's sending executives to branches where petitions uh, for union elections have recently been filed ever since the Buffalo win. As you know, when the Buffalo um, location became union, in Boston, two more locations filed for a union election. And he brought in these executives to intimidate the folks that work there. He's trying to bring in workers from surrounding branches to pad the numbers of the employees and advantage Starbucks. Once again, these are classic union busting tactics. Why not al allow a fair debate and election, Kevin? Why not allow a conversation, a debate of ideas? Is it good to be union? Is it not good to be union? Are we going to be all right with this or not? And have an honest debate. Why, why sit there and try to cheat? If you're, if you're thinking your way is better, shouldn't you be able to argue that point and convince your partners that it's better to not stand together collectively against the upper management that has all the power? I don't know. I'll tell you why, though. Because Kevin is looking out for Starbucks. That's it. It's simple. He's a CEO. He's looking out for the bottom line. Profits over everything, baby. Money over everything. You know how it is. The baristas are not actually partners. As Kevin likes to call them, they're just workers. Understand what that is. Workers are nothing more than employee numbers, my friends. Employee numbers. For your contractor, I promise me, I promise you, you're nothing but an employee number at the end of the day. Kevin should be glad that we aren't living in the era of actual pitchforks and torches because, you know, back in the day, you know, way, way back in the day, when the workers were fed up, they actually used to go to the owner's house and burn the house down and steal all the goods and kill the owner. Um, it was a very violent struggle, this class struggle that we are, are still in the middle of. That's true, by the way. You can look that up. Our loyalties belong to those who sweat and toil alongside us. So you look left and you look right. Those are your allies, my friends. Those are your allies. Fuck the bosses. Because they'll fuck you the first chance they get. And that's just the honest truth. The, the bosses ain't going to look out for you. They're looking out for the bottom line at the end of the day. And as soon as it becomes uh, not as profitable, they will downsize and cut cut, cut the loose weight that they feel is, is not pulling the weight. Solidarity with each other is how we gain in this fight. It's how we've always gained in this fight. It's always been through solidarity. With that, with that said, I have an action for you to take. All right. Starbucks Workers United is asking the public to call 1-800-782-7282 and let Starbucks know that as a customer, you support unions and want them to allow a fair election free from union busting efforts. Give them a call. Let them know that you stand with the workers. That's the action. Solidarity over everything. Take the action. Make the call. Leave a message. And just let them know where, where you stand. And, and at the end of the day, they're going to do what, what is most profitable. And they're going to find out that if they keep going with the union busting ways, it's not going to be very profitable. Because people aren't going to go to Starbucks. They're going to go somewhere else. Anyway, my name's Eric. You're watching Union Minded. Please like, subscribe. Hit the notification button, share, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, solidarity wins always, my friends. Remember, the battle's not left and right. It's up and down. Peace.